A local company answered New York State's call to help during the pandemic, but now the life-saving equipment they made is heading to the front lines of a different battle, the war in Ukraine. We build production equipment, which goes all over the world, which then goes into making all the stuff that we like to buy. Our cars, our medical devices, our consumer products. Precision Valve and Automation employs 250 people in its high-tech facility in Half Moon. Quite the leap from starting in CEO Tony Hines' basement 30 years ago. Our area of expertise is robotics and the application of liquid materials. Very fancy way of saying we use robots to glue things together. Any industrialized country has our machines and they're deployed all over the world. They are working 24 hours a day. We like to say the sun never sets on the PVA empire. But then the pandemic cast its shadow. PVA was deemed an essential business and stayed open. Except instead of sealing circuit boards, they looked to save lives. We could take a really, really good crack at making a, a inexpensive, lightweight, portable ventilator. So we, uh, within a six week period, we designed it, manufactured it, and got FDA approval. Dozens of these ventilators were sent around the state and the world. But when the large scale need for ventilators never materialized, Tony was left with dozens more. When the COVID emergency is lifted, the emergency approval goes away, we can no longer do anything with them. So we would have had to destroy them, which would have just broke my heart. Heartbreak was averted with the help of Brock Bierman. Some of these um, will be delivered next week. CEO and president of the nonprofit Ukraine Focus. We're making sure that we have a strategy in place that puts the assets exactly where they're needed at the exact time they're needed. He'll deliver the ventilators and other donated supplies, including ambulances, to Ukraine getting ready for his 12th trip since Russia's invasion last year. You weren't kidding. I, when he said ambulance, I just thought that was the, the term that you were using for whatever vehicle you're driving, but it actually is an ambulance. New York State DEC Commissioner Basil Segos has taken personal leave twice over the past year to help Brock deliver aid. The orphanage has really stuck out as something that was extraordinarily dire. Before bringing ambulances close to the front lines. An otherwise very gray day, the sun came out at that very, very moment. And how close were you to the front line there? Um, probably two kilometers. These ventilators may get even closer. Because of the size, though, and because of the lightweight, it, it fits in an ambulance very well. It'll fit on a helicopter or, or, or it'll fit into an infantry vehicle very, very easily. So it's, it's a nice device for battlefield use. And it, it works every bit as well and can keep somebody every bit as alive as a $30,000 ventilator. Except instead of fighting the war on COVID, it's fighting a different... Different battle. Different battles, but the same purpose, saving lives, which has driven the work at PVA from the start. That would boost the spirits of a lot of people here, just to know that they were delivered, that they were going to be used, and that we we're part of that. I, I can't even begin to tell you how positive they are uh, viewing our support and how much they need it. And instead of Brock flying over with the ventilators and the other donated supplies, PVA CEO Tony Hines shipped it all for him. And as we see, it's already being distributed by Ukraine Focus. Hines also shared with us another machine that they designed specifically to help with wounded civilians and soldiers needing prosthetic limbs. That web exclusive video is part of this story on News10.com. That's something. Just an incredible yeah. uh, amount of work and help that they're giving right now.